didn't. Who signed Team Mummy and Mark, congratulations on your marriage. Hope you live happily ever after. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> excited he's just the most wonderful wonderful person and so I feel so lucky so Mark and I first met at work uh, he was sat in for my boss's boss's boss actually So, she was a civil servant in Air Command, and I'm in the Royal Air Force. She got a new job in a different place and moved on. Uh, and then, um, my father died, and Ree was the first person to offer words of consolation. I got a different job and he was getting a different job and so we became Facebook friends, it was very funny. So um, I said to him, let me know when you know what job you're gonna get because you can let me know on Facebook. And then a few days later, I got a message from him saying, I'm too much from Facebook, Biff, to work out how to friend you. So I sent you a message and I was like, oh, okay. I met her in the woods when she was walking her dogs um, shortly after that and we just, became friends before anything else sparked. We bumped into each other in the woods, walking the, I've got, I had one dog at the time, we now have two. Um, and the rest is history. And the rest is history. It's a compassion, simple things. Uh, a warmth and generosity to other people. She, she won't say bad words about people. She's a, she's a kind human being. his silly jokes. I roll my eyes and I don't laugh, but I love, I love the joy that he gets from telling the ridiculous jokes. So although a lot of them aren't funny, um, I like the fact that he just, um, he gets so much joy from them. And she brings out the best in me. So that's what I like most about that. In fact, she's gorgeous. Seeing him with my children, you know, seeing the way that he reacted to them and the way that I felt. You, you get a gut feeling, I think. I think I've been, uh, I proposed about 17 times. So, <laughs> six weeks after we got together, we went to his friend's wedding. The first time was in a taxi in London. We were coming back from a friend's wedding and um, had a really, really wonderful time. And uh, we were in the taxi on the way back and he said something along the lines of, I can't wait for you to be my wife.
Jan. I promise to try and be your everything guy. To try and probably fail to match the sheer passion you have for life. Mark, oh, today I get the pleasure of becoming your wife in front of our family and friends. But before I do, I would like to thank you for asking me to share your life with me. Your unbridled amazement when staring at the stars in the sky or your unfettered excitement when we saw that geezer spurting. <laughs> we were in Iceland. For unreservedly allowing me to be me, good and bad. For all your support, love and kindness, you always show me. Your unconsolable sadness when yet another trauma befalls Meredith Grey. Share your emotion when the kid with the heart-rending backstory overcomes adversity to make it to the final week of American Idol. <laughs> For loving Isabel and Isaac wholeheartedly and making Isabel cry and Isaac's nostrils flare with laughter <laughs> at your silly dad jokes. <laughs> but most of all, for being my best friend. I promise I'll always be there for you in terms of celebration or struggle. I promise to always annoy you with my terrible whistling. <laughs> I promise to always encourage and inspire you. I love you for who you are, your warmth, kindness and compassion. You inspire me to want to be a better person. I feel that I am already a better person from being close to you. And I promise to love you for who you will be, to be your champion, to support you, to encourage you and to watch you grow to be the person that you want to be. I promise to not hit you too hard when we play yellow car. I promise to always laugh with you. Um, I promise to try and let you finish one job before I give you another one. I promise to always share my last camera away from you. But mostly, I promise to love you forever. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. It's been a while since we felt the way we did Back when we were dumb and younger It's been a while since I looked into your eyes And saw starlight, bold, bright colors, yeah When I'm down, when I'm dry I cannot imagine my life without you. Uh, you are beautiful, caring, selfless. The delight of my life. For the film, all the nuance, every letter. And you do things to me like they have never been done. A love like ours could last forever. And never when I'm down, me up. when I'm dry. to, I think more than anything else, seeing Rianne go. Seeing her develop into the person she wants to be, and I'll be there supporting her all the way.
Oh, he's a the really dangerous stone. Oh, a guy falling over. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm crew that can do gymnastics. <laughs> Oh, I like, oh, why are you sitting You can, but it's not good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. He knows everything. He knows everything. I know he's there. It's that showdown. <laughs> That's the most of it. We've got it. Come on. These actually good voices. I'm not going to lie, they were good voices. We must. Are you writing your speech just now? No. No. I'm not writing my speech to us before the 